I expect to be very excited, very anxious. Uh, situation I've never been in. Something I feel like I've always dreamed of. I've, always, I've, I've had to sit back and watch, you know, playoffs for the past two years, three years, now, two years since I've been in the league. And um, even before then, I was watching playoffs. So I'm really excited right now. Um, not, I don't want to say I don't know what to expect. I, I know what obviously is at, at hand, but I'm just, I'm, I'm ready for it. You know, I, I wish it was tomorrow, but, um, you know, we get some days to prep, prepare and, and get ready for it. Long you've talked about how much you wanted to make your first playoffs. Has feeling sunk in yet? I don't think I don't think so. I get to Lambeau um, that it'll really hit me. You know, this is this is, again. You know, we went here early in the year, Sunday night game. We didn't come out and put our best foot forward, but it's it's truly an incredible, amazing atmosphere to play in. Um, one of the historic places, in in my opinion. So I, I think it should be very exciting. You know, against a, a red hot team. Um, a very good team, offense and defense, and they're just playing at a high level. So, obviously, you know, it's winter to go home. You obviously have to put your best foot forward, and um, that's what we plan to do. Odell, you're a great place to see Ohio. We have seen a lot of that this year. We've seen a lot of double cover, two high safety. Is that something that, if that you do run across that, that's something that you guys can possibly take advantage of? Yeah, that's what you hope for, but um, I don't I don't see them playing single high. Um, I see them going with the two high. Going the inside patty technique, two man with the inside corner and the safety over the top. Um, as far as that goes, so we just got to find find ways to get in where we fit in, and um, everybody's just got to be on point and make plays when when your numbers talk. You've watched tapes of Jerry Rice in the playoffs, I assume. Tell me your recollections of that. A lot of points he put up on the board. A lot of um, he just was in the right place at the right time. Uh, he he made the plays when they needed to be made. So I've seen the highlights. I've watched them for years. Um, obviously, the best to, to ever do it. Um, and and this was a time where he stepped it up even more. So that's just what you have to do. Uh, you got to bring your A game, your A plus game. Actually, you got to bring the very best that you have, and you, you have to leave it all out there. Oh, so Del, we're this talking is about where legends are made. Absolutely. Um, and again, you know, I'm I'm excited about the opportunity um, to even be able to play in the playoffs. For me, it's like, I feel like I've talked about it for years uh, since I've been here, and it, it's finally here. Um, you know, and it's not, it's not really here until Sunday, I, I think, and, or even when we take off to go to Green Bay, and you really, it all kind of will settle in. So I'm just trying to hold it all together, and just, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going to be at. Uh, I know I'm going to be very amped up and, and very excited. Oh, you, you were talking on Saturday night? Yeah, that's usually the day I sleep the best, but, um, you know, going throughout the week, I don't, I don't really sleep as much. Uh, last night, I was kind of, you know, tossing and turning a little bit. Um, I'm just, I'm excited, man. Odell, we all know about your big play potential. Is that, that ability? Uh, do you see that as a, the X factor in this game? We all have to make plays, you know, and and whatever, whatever it is, whenever your number's called, um, if it's a slant and you take it to the house, if if it's a deep ball, you take it to the house. We, we need those big time plays um, and we're, we're going to need them from everybody. So I pride myself in, in making plays. I pride myself in being the very best that I can be. So these plays, uh, they all have to be made. Each, each ball has to be caught. Um, each route has to be ran uh, precisely and you need to be where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there. It's all about the timing. So um, yeah, the, the big plays are definitely going to help. Uh, but if we come out and we execute and, and do things the right way, we out-execute a team, I don't know if the big play is the X factor, so to say. Um, but they definitely can't hurt you. Everyone has different motivation. Uh, you know, Eli said the other day he does thrive a little bit off being an underdog. Where do you kind of fit in that category? How do you like to? Uh, that's kind of how it's been for me all my life. Actually, I've, I've always been the underdog going into, going into college, you know, when you had the little rivals ratings and then um, even going into the league, I always felt as if I had a chip on my shoulder, um, and I don't. I don't think it'll ever leave. Uh, that that's just how I kind of was raised, how I grew up as the underdog. So you thrive on on these moments, like Eli said. You thrive at being the underdog. You thrive at these pressure situations, um, knowing that you know big time players make big time plays in, in big time games, and uh, that that's what we all need to do. Well, that was more than any other year that. 
everything you do on the field, off the field, is it ordinary? I mean, what you can do on the field, obviously, 100 catches, tie for the record for fastest to 4,000 yards, and then everything you do off the field. Do you, you kind of appreciate your life isn't ordinary? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I remember even when I was sitting here being like, you know, be careful what you ask for and stuff like that, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade what I have going on for, for anything in the world. Um, you know, God's put me in a great position. I'm truly, truly blessed. It's just, it's, it's life. It's ups and downs. It's finding ways to um, maintain, your, stay yourself uh, throughout it all and, and just go with the flow and enjoy it. Um, I, I genuinely feel like I try and enjoy every moment, every second of life. Um, tomorrow's never promised. I mean, you walk out this building, you know, it's never promised. And I don't want to say I live every day like it's my last, but it's pretty close to it. What do you, think, Ojo, about, Ojo, what do you think about the attention all the, 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 the Miami trip is attracting? Uh, right now, I'm really more focused on the Packers than uh, the Giants. So any of those questions, you know, whenever y'all want to sit down and have a little side to side, we could do that uh, after the playoffs. Ojo, but, but, I mean, there was a report there were a lot of drugs being handed out on the boat. I mean, do you, Like do you, I said. We're, we're focused Steak? on no. We're focused on the Packers and the Giants. So anything else doesn't really bother me. Um, what, what's the coldest you've ever played? Uh, and how do you feel about playing in nine, ten degrees, whatever it's going to be? It's perfect football weather. Um, that's obviously the plan. You know that they're. they're they're a team, like I said, they're a red hot team. They've won six in a row. They had to win each and every game to get in. Um, it, it's about finding the best matchup that you think you have and, uh, and going at it. So, like I said, we have to make plays everywhere, uh, all across the board, offense, defense, special teams. All three groups have to come together and um, truly execute. Uh, you know, one special teams play could be the difference in the game. You know, we could have had a great offensive game, Great defensive game and the special teams is what set it apart. So all three phases have to be clicking. Right here. The bond between you and Victor and Sterling. You've talked about it back when Sterling joined here, but what has it developed into? Uh, a brotherhood. Honestly, you know, the, these are guys who I ride for. Um, right, wrong, or indifferent, I'm always gonna gonna be on their side to their defense or or whatever it, it may be. Uh, Shep's like a little brother to me. Vic's, Vic's like the big brother to me, and I'm, I'm right in the middle. So you know, I, I get the advice from Vic. I give the advice to Shep, or, or vice versa. You know, we all work together, and um, I don't think you see that as much with receivers and just the the nature of the position. But this is a group that genuinely looks out and cares for each other, and not just us three. Obviously, you know, Otto, TK, Dwayne Harris, um, everybody in that room. It, it's a very close room. Um, it's a place what, what we talk about in those four walls stays in there uh, for the most part. But one, 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 one of the more, challenges more. of this game, everyone is saying, is can the Giants' offense do enough? Is that a challenge that you embrace? Um, yeah. You know, we, we have to come out and, like, like we've been saying all year, we, ha we have to put our best before. Yeah, we have to do more. Um, we have to do more than we've been doing. You know, the defense has done a phenomenal job all year. Uh, putting us in this position is now. Now it's our turn. Um, it's our turn to step up, uh, and and now's a better time than ever. What do you like? Last one. Big spotlight. Big stage. What do you like? I mean, I just don't know what more you would ask for. Um, it's fourth and one. It's one minute thirty six seconds left on the clock. You're down five. You need to play. You just need a first down to to stay alive. But you score a touchdown. You know, it it's something about those moments. Um, knowing you have to get it done. Uh, and, and it's just, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no way around it. You just have to get it done. So I, I do enjoy those moments. Um, it's, like, it's like taking the last shot. You know, uh, you never know if you're going to fail unless you shoot. How much is Victor Cruz going to your career? Um, he, I don't know if words really do it justice, what he's done for me, just as far as being the big brother, teaching me, you know, the ins and outs of the game. Um, Little does he know I've taken a lot of stuff from his film. Uh, he's, he's genuinely a big brother to me, a guy who's looked out for me since, since the night I met him after the draft. Um, and it will always be that way. Uh, you know, we're, we're pretty much family for life, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't rather go into any other playoffs with, with these guys that I have now.